Once we have gotten our vendors and suppliers into the system, the next step is going to be putting in our purchase orders. Now, the, the, a couple things to understand about purchase orders is the first is that if you have already received the purchase order in your old business system, you do not want to put that inside a Lizzie. Um, you're going to have to actually pay that out of your old system. And, and well, actually, if it's received and hasn't been paid, then we will actually do, show you how to do a, an expense PO to deal with that, to be able to at least put the payment into Lizzie. But the receiving of the inventory and stuff was actually already done in the old system. And you don't want to do that inside of Lizzie because it's going to throw your books off. So, what we're going to be focused on here is creating purchase orders that mimic the ordered and unreceived purchase orders that you have in your current system. Um, we are there, It's kind of a two-step process. The first step is to actually get the purchase order created and put all of the parts onto it, whether they are attached to special orders or not. Um, we, we want to actually get the purchase orders created and put everything on it because what's going to end up happening is in the, the next few steps, we're going to be creating service tickets, open service tickets, and special order parts that have not arrived. And those uh, processes are going to automatically, Lizzie will automatically attach them to these purchase orders. So if you create the purchase orders so they look like what your old system did, then it makes things a lot simpler when you go to pay your bills and, and deal with your suppliers because everything will look exactly like it did in your old system. So again, we're only interested in the unreceived purchase orders, whether it's unordered or unreceived. We're going to do the ones that we have ordered first um, because those are the, the most critical and then we'll deal with the ones that are still open. So for right now, only focus on the ones that are received, that are ordered but not received. So the process to actually do this is going to be to go to accounting, go to payables, create a new purchase order. We're going to create a parts order. Select the supplier that you're actually ordering the, the item from. So we'll just pick Briggs and Stratton. Hit next. Type in the part number that you want to actually order. Now, in this case, I already had an open purchase order, so this is kind of a bad example. But um, we're in in the case of you creating a new one, there, it's going to be a brand new supplier, so you're going to actually put the parts on from scratch. But uh, in this case, I'm going to type in a, a part number. And the system, you know, it'll bring up the, the part numbers that match, but you're going to pick a, a part number for that particular purchase order. You're going to select the, the part, put in the quantity, and then it'll put it onto the purchase order for you. So again, right now we're trying to take the purchase order in its exact form from your old system. We're going to put it into Lizzie with the same parts, same quantities. Don't worry about the special order problem right now. It'll it'll handle itself in shortly. Uh, and then once you get all of the parts on for that purchase order, you're going to select the next button at the top, and then you're going to select place order to get Lizzie to go ahead and order that particular item or say that she has ordered it. Um, again, assuming that you've already ordered it out of your old system. Um, if you have open purchase orders where you have not placed the order yet um, it's really uh, that, that we'll do that last because in that particular point all you're going to do is create the invoices that that most likely had special orders tied to them and lizzie's going to automatically create that that purchased order for you um, to get you ready to, to be able to place it again um, so that that problem we'll deal with at the very last so again just to recap create the purchase order for the supplier to mimic what is in your old system for ordered and not received and then place the order and that just has lizzie tag it that it's been ordered 